Today we're going to be doing another craft project with either a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. Um, if you go on Clinton's Facebook page on Friday, I posted a live video of me reading the story of Jesus and the loaves and the fish. And so our craft project today is a little fish to go along with that story. To make this, all you need is some paper, um, either a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll, and some glue. I'm also going to um, use a stapler because sometimes it's easier to have a stapler for this project. But if you don't have one, you can also use glue. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my toilet paper roll. If you only have a paper towel roll, you can use that and just cut it in half. So in that case, the first step would be to cut the paper towel roll to um, whatever length you want. And the first thing we're going to do with this is cover it with some colored paper. If you only have white paper, you can do that too. So this fish I made blue. So I'm going to make another fish that's orange. So I'm going to take some orange paper. And if you guys did um, the little house craft project from a few weeks ago, we're going to do this the same way that we did um, that project when we covered the toilet paper roll. So I'm just going to take my roll and go to the corner and line the roll up with the end and I'm just going to see how long my paper needs to be to cover it. So I'm going to make a mark right there and then I'm just going to extend that line down so I know where to cut. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. Um, if it doesn't come out perfectly straight that's fine. We can um, just trim it afterwards once it's on here. So just do your best to draw a line down. And then I'm going to cut right on it all the way up. Now, your paper needs to be long enough to be able to go around at least once. If it's longer, that's perfectly fine. But um, you just want to cut it out so it's long enough just to cover the whole roll. So now I'm going to take my glue stick and cover one side of the colored paper with glue. So once I got a good amount of glue on there, I'm going to line the toilet paper roll up uh, on one of the ends. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we can always fix it later. And then I'm just going to roll it up. I'm just going to try to make it as flat as I can on there. And then press down on the end so it stays down. Now, like I said before, your line doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see up here, mine's a little bit uneven and it goes above the roll a bit. If yours is like that, that's fine. You can either leave it that way or you can just take your scissors and trim it so that it fits really nicely on the roll. There you go. So next, this fish has its mouth wide open, as you can see. So to make it look like that, it also makes it so that he kind of props up a little bit. To make it like that, we need to flatten one end of the toilet paper roll. Now this is where if you have a stapler, uh, a stapler works really well. If you don't have a stapler, you'll probably have to use um, some white glue, like some liquid glue. A glue stick um, probably won't be strong enough to hold it. 
Um, so I'm going to take one end, as you can see, and just flatten it like that. I'm going to leave this end open. I'm not going to touch that end, but this end I'm going to flatten. And we want it to kind of stay closed. So if you have some glue that you want to use, you can put glue in there and glue it closed. Or if you have a stapler, you can just put some staples right here to have it stay closed. And that way you don't have to wait for it to dry. So I'm just going to put two staples in, one on each end. And it's okay that you can see the staples because we're going to cover those up. So what we're going to cover up the staples with is the tail. So I think I'm going to use orange again for my tail. I'm going to make it the same color as the body of my fish. But you can make it whatever color you want. And to make the tail, I'm going to take this and take the flat side of the roll and put it right down in the middle right here. And I'm going to take my marker and mark off where the edges are. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, as you can see on this fish, um, I want my tail to be kind of about the same size as the body of the fish. So then your tail is kind of a bit up to you how you want to do it. Um, you just, it certainly doesn't have to be perfect. All you kind of really have to do is just cut up a straight line and then make a little um, triangle on the end. Now, fish tails certainly aren't perfect. They're very asymmetrical. So we don't have to, you know, worry about the lines being perfect or anything. I'm just going to cut up a bit on both sides. And you can make it as long as you want to. Some fish have long tails, some fish have short tails. And to make it easier to make the triangle, I'm going to cut right across first. And then I'm going to cut my triangle. So if you want to draw it first, you definitely can. I'm just going to go up and then up. And now I have a little triangle. And then I'm just going to cut that out. And there we have the little pointed end for the tail. Now, this is my favorite part. This is when we get to make these little ridges in the fish tail. So to do that, you're just going to make slits with your scissors, cut up all the way down on the triangle. You can make the slits as long or as short as you want. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to go straight up at the point of the triangle. Then I'm going to go down each side and go straight in with my scissors. And as I get closer to the bottom, I'm not going to, my cuts aren't going to be as long because I don't want to cut off this little point here. If I made my cut too long, I would just cut off the whole thing. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to make shorter cuts as I go down. And you can go back and kind of adjust and add some cuts if you want to. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And now my fish tail has all these little ridges in it. So now I just have to glue it to the body of the fish. So I'm just going to take it and glue it right there. I'm going to use my glue stick to do this, but you can use any glue that you want. And I'm just going to stick it on the end right over the staple.
and now I have my tail for my fish. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to make the mouth. For this fish, I used red for the mouth. For this one, I'm going to use some pink. So to make the mouth, all you have to do is cut just a small strip of paper from the end. So I'm just going to cut straight down a little strip. Doesn't have to be perfect. However wide you make your strip is how wide the fish's mouth is going to be. So if you want to have a big mouth or a little mouth, you can adjust how big of a strip you cut. So then I'm just going to go onto this side and I'm going to glue it around on the edge. So to do that, I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to coat one side of this with glue. And now I'm going to start with one end. I'm going to line it up on the edge, just like that. And then I'm going to wrap it all the way around. And just like with the orange paper, when we covered the body, you need enough to go all the way around. But if you have extra, that's okay. You can just keep going until you reach the end and then press the end down so it doesn't pop up. And now I have a little mouth on my fish. So now we're actually almost done. We just need to make the fins and the eyes. So I think I'm gonna make the fins first. I'm gonna go back to my orange paper and I'm gonna fold it in half a bit. Not the whole thing, just um, just enough that I need to make the fin. The fin's not gonna be that big, so this much paper should be enough. And if you remember from other craft projects that we've done, if you want to make two of the same things, if you want to cut out two things that are the same, you can fold your paper over, draw it on one side, and then cut it out, and then you'll end up with two. So I'm going to draw the shape of my fin. You can make your fin whatever shape you want. I'm just going to start at the edge of the paper and curve up and make a shape just like that. And now I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to cut it with the paper folded so that I end up with two. There we go. And you can make these fins as big or as little as you want to make them. So, now that I have these, in order to make it easier to glue them, I'm going to fold the flat end just a little bit so that I make a little tab to glue it with. So that I can put some glue right here and then stick it to the side just like that. So after I fold it, I'm gonna put glue right there. And this part can be a little bit tricky just because the fish curves. So I'm just gonna stick it right here and then press it down it's okay if it flips up a bit. You can just kind of fix it. We just kind of do our best to fix it. Now, if you can't get your uh, fin to glue this way, you can always glue it this way too. It's up to you. 
If you want to glue it this way, you can kind of press it in and get it to stick, or you can glue it that way. So with this fish, I had um, some uh, wet glue that I could kind of manipulate more and leave to dry. With the glue stick, I think it's going to be easier if I just glue it like this. But you can glue your fin however you think looks best or whatever works for you. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the other fin. I'm just going to fold it down, put some glue right there. and then stick it right on the other side. So now my fish has two little fins. And now the last step is the eyes. So, hmm, I have some green paper and I think I'm gonna use that for the eyes just to make my fish more colorful. And to make the eyes, I'm going to draw a circle and cut it out. Now, I'm going to take that, put it down, and trace it so that I can cut out a second eye. And now that you've cut out your eyes, if you want to adjust them at all, kind of make them a bit more round, or if one's bigger than the other, you can do that. But remember, they don't have to be perfect. So, now that I have my two little eyes, I'm going to make little dots in the middle. And you can use whatever color you want for this. I'm just going to use a black because I think the black will stand out. And now I'm going to glue each of the eyes right here. One right there. And then put the other right here. And now I'm all done with my fish. Now, if you want to color your fish at all, I think that would be a really good idea. You can make scales or stripes or dots on your fish and then just decorate it however you want. It's a good idea to decorate the tail also. I think that would look really nice. And now your little fish friend is all finished. So I hope you guys enjoy doing that craft. Um, last week, Wesley sent me a picture of his craft when we did the Jonah and the Whale craft, and that looked really great. Um, he put a little Lego man inside his big fish so that it looked like Jonah was in the belly of the fish, and I was really glad to see that picture.
So if you guys make any of these, you can send me a picture as well. And I'll email you back and tell you what I think. So I'll see you next week. Bye.